It is crunch time in Sunbelt Conference football. Appalachian State playing host to South Alabama. Just what they want to produce on first and second down, so very, very effective up front. 12th in all of the FBS and third down defense. Chase Bryce throwing into it on third and nine, and he is rocked as he throws that football away. Day, Terry on Avery in the backfield for the first down play. It's a play fake. Colin Lacey hit with the bubble screen on the outside, and App State all over that. A two-yard loss coming up for Hampton in the last six games. Terry on Avery's first carry of the day is not going to go much farther. Desmond Trotter, both teams dialing up great defensive play on first and second. Getting his first look at the running back spot today as Chase Bryce goes to Thomas Hennigan with a pass behind the line of scrimmage. A ball pops loose. It looks like South Alabama may be in a position or a cover, and they have. They've been very productive on first and second down so far. Trotter bringing Ellen Lacey in motion, he gives to Avery, and that's stuffed. Mountaineers get the stop at the 27-yard line. Ninth, fourth down try for South Alabama. Fifth best in the country in terms of fourth down attempts. They'll try for it and complete the fourth down conversion on the Mountaineer sideline. It was just like that quick. New quarterback in, we just score, and that's how it worked. Trotter on third down and five inside the red zone being chased from behind. Nice ladder climb catch over on the sideline there. One on fourth down on this drive. No score, that could be changing. Trotter hands to Avery who lost the football on the ground. It's gonna be short of a conversion anyway. It's App State ball. Necessarily been the cleanest game thus far. We'll see if that improves here as Chase Bryce looks to air one out. He's got a man down the seam. That's Jalen Virgil on the catch right around midfield. That's a Mountaineer. First down on about a 45-yard pass play from Chase Bryce. Guys that are creeping up the record book in terms of career receiving yardage. Bryce again to fire. Again, he finds Virgil trying to shake free inside the 30-yard line. Two quick strike passes from Chase Bryce to Jalen Virgil. Move to the chains again for the black and gold. Keeps that safety honest from coming up on the run or, or dropping back in deep coverage. Thomas Hennigan inside the 20, spun down to the turf at the 19, maybe 18 yard line. That's gonna be inches shy of a first down gain. Play just a few minutes ago, let's see what the Mountaineers do. Peoples up the middle, has the first down and more to the 15 yard line. Start at right guard today for App State in the place of Isaiah Helms, who got hurt last week on a PAT try in that Arkansas State game. Bryce again on play action, now starting to scramble. He's got some blockers at the 10, stays on his feet to the nine and picks up about six yards on what looked to be a broken play. Minutes here in the first quarter. Third down and two. Bryce with the play action again, looking for the back pylon, threw that one out of bounds, intended for Mike Evans. He was standing in the goal on the sideline, so that'll bring up fourth and short. So they feel like they've got a shot on fourth down and two. It's Bryce on the run all alone for the Mountaineer touchdown. Chase Bryce dialing up QB1 on the run play, and the Mountaineers are on the board at the Rock. Great. Let's see if he fires it up here on second down and 10. Batted pass, picked off. Trey Cobb's got it. And the Mountaineers back inside the South Alabama red zone on the deflection. One within the, before this ball game's over. Fake to Noel, pass over on the edge to Corey Sutton, and he gets in for the touchdown, black and gold. That halftime lead that Avery referred to. Trotter gonna need to throw it a little bit down a couple of scores and the first catch of the day for the half thousand yard seasons in each of the last two years. And off to Tavion Avery, Trey Cobb grabs him at the 35 yard line. Your defense already this afternoon as we wind down play here in Quarter number one, Terry on Avery trying to get loose. And goes nowhere. Go and make plays. 16 plays, 24 yards for South Alabama in this one. And on third down, an errant throw into the Mountaineer sideline. I, I, that'll do it. End of quarter one. 14 nothing. Mountaineers on top penalty. here, Boo. Replay oh, third down. We are actually going to stay with you. Here we've got untimed down. an untimed down. We're not done with this first quarter yet. Mountaineers got off the field on third down penalty, brought him back. Trotter looking for the quick screen pass that goes right through the fingertips of Jalen Wayne. Everything about a guy who Major Applewhite said, as we see the punt away here, Major Applewhite said that football is institutionalized in Jake Bentley, and it allows you to do many things with him as App State's going to get an opportunity to return there. Thomas Hennigan out across the 25-yard line. Two more maybe with postseason. 
DJ, it's hard to enumerate the value of a quarterback uh, who, who has whose dad's a coach. And uh, you know, you go back to what uh, picked it up Pass very well. Offense number two, half the distance to the goal, replay first down. In terms of the way he's played the last couple of weeks, for sure. Bryce going back to the air, trying to as he is piled on at the 14-yard line. Escape. The Isn't it ironic that the two touchdowns came uh, off a short field? Third down and short play. Mountaineers trying to gobble some. First time today. He's four of nine in the passing game, 19 yards. South Alabama only had 17 yards in the first quarter. Handoff goes to Hill across the midfield stripe and not much more than that. On the front end. Hill is above. Trotter, it's Hill out of the backfield, has the first down catch on the Jaguar sideline. Got to move the chains and gave Louisiana all they wanted. It's been kind of tough for them since. As Hill gets a carry, seven yards on first down. This is Mr. Gray. Trotter on third down and one. Handoff goes to Hill again, and the progress line didn't move much to play today. Hill on the handoff, and he stopped again. Demetrius Taylor. Creating havoc. South Alabama with third best offense in the conference heading into play today as Nate Noel tiptoes around the line up to the 40-yard line, picks up eight yards on eight. Shy of midfield, trying to move the chains here after a fourth down stop. Nate Noel's number called, and he should have enough for the first down. Got it by about a yard. Noel will, as soon as he popped that tape in to start studying for Appalachian State. Bryce with a deep drop. Now he's got an opportunity to run. We've seen this once today and dives down on the midfield stripe, just a yard shy of it. Six yard pickup field. That was one of the keys that Frank Ponce gave us, trying to stretch out some drives as Peoples goes diving into the pile, gonna come up short on third and two. This is your game. Stay on this one today. It's, it's always fun to watch a football game where things matter to both teams. Whoa! That's a muff. App State's got it. Fair catch was called. There's a flag on the play. Don't get too excited about this for either team. This is going to come back one way or the other. And kick catch interference. Kicking team number 19. 15 yard penalty. First down. He's fair catch. Uh, oh, uh, that's nope. If Desmond Trotter can put together a drive here before halftime. First time we've seen Kareem Walker today. Walker getting loose. There's a flag coming in from the back side. Look. Holding offense number 71. 10 yard penalty. Replay first down. Program with, with some continuity, but had to go into the portal pretty hard in this first year. And now we see Walker loose again. Two carries, two big bursts. This one counts. Tolbert had his worst game. And now we see some uh, extracurricular activity over in the pile there. It looks like Mr. Interior's Gray was really fired up about something. He's even taking his helmet off now. He is very upset. Something transpired on the field that has him upset. And it looks like he's having a some kind of a breakdown there, unfortunately. There were fouls by both teams. Flagrant personal foul, offense number 52. Flagrant personal foul. Offense number nine, correction, defense number 97. Both players are ejected from the contest. Wow. The fouls offset. And you see the two of them kind of in the bottom right wow. corner. Wow. A very de deep defensive line for Alabama, for uh, Appalachian. Trotter trying to get free. Flags flying in again. Trotter hit behind the 30. But there are flags from multiple directions, so in the foul, backfield. Chop block, offense number 14 and number 55. Half the distance to the goal, third down. Action, the penalty is declined, fourth down. Punt the football away. From his own 15, driving punt. Hennigan with a chance on this return. And he loses the football, and South Alabama's got it. Inside the App State red zone. Trotter goes under center. Didn't see that too much in this first half. Play action, looking for the corner. He's got a man there, and that is a South Alabama touchdown. Last year and only given up 308 this year. So what an about face. What a turnaround. Bryce to Sutton over on the sideline, and that's a Mountaineer first down gain to the 39-yard line. And they create an identity, and it's turned into success on the field.
Mountaineers trying to convert on a third down and two little misdirection action there. And Eli Wilson with the carry to the 50 yard line has enough for the Mountaineer first down. 39 and rolling seven point game. See if Bryce tries to gobble up some real estate. He is indeed going to do so, throws it short. That ball's picked off. Picked off by Daryl Luter, his fourth interception of the year, and it could not come at a better time. First half, let's see what Desmond Trotter does. Let's see how aggressive Major Applewhite is over the balance of the rest of this, and it's a deep shot. First big play caught by Tolbert today. Up. They're picking up the tempo, too, and that's that's probably a good thing for, for Trotter because he keeps the defense basic. He probably wears the defense down a little. First down and 10 from right around midfield. Trotter looking to attack. He's got Tolbert on the catch, and that's a first down gain inside the 30. First down catch. He's a heck of a receiver going up high. That's how you kind of slow down that tempo. You bring a little heat in his route running and finding a soft spot. Tolbert, top of your screen. Second down. Trotter for Tolbert again on the sideline. Is he inbounds? No, it's broken up by Stephen Jones. Came down with the football. Out of bounds, third down play coming up. Big pass play right here and on the boundary. That is ruled a completed ball. Seven of 12 for his career. From the 30, Wahardo hits the upright, not good. <laughs> wow. Freeze for nine yards today. Trotter with some heat coming and he's dropped at the 20 yard line. The fingertips of Demetrius Taylor. Brooks. Punting from his own six, another low line drive. This is almost like a spiral right at Thomas Hennigan who catches it this time and rolling around in all kinds of crazy directions. Now he's got a little room to run as he gets upended right on the 40 yard line. Another pop out of bounds that was awfully close to a late hit. Third down and nine for App. Two of seven on third down and now we see a stoppage. Delay of game, offense, five yard penalty. Still third down. Pulls the running back alongside Bryce in the shotgun here on third down and long. Bryce, deep ball. Malik Williams trying to play center field. Pulled down. It's incomplete. First year. Trying to get that first Sun Belt road win. South Alabama in a good position here as we see on the underneath. Tolbert getting loose across midfield. Steps out of bounds in front of Stephen Jones. Four down territory here from the 47. Trotter with a ton of time. Now he's going to take off and run and convert this on his own across the 40-yard line. Into the meeting room 15 minutes earlier this week. He said it's just a kind of all right, let's go type attitude for him after getting put into that starting position as he completes a pass right across the middle of the field. That's Tolbert again. To the receiver. I mean, lots of poise. Trotter on the run. Drives a quick pass. Flag on the play. A lot of Personal unhappy foul, folks down there. Roughing the passer. Defense number 29. After this is to the goal, automatic first down. And if, if it's not the quarterback, he'd be okay. But I the App State 10. Trotter looking for him in the corner. Tried the one-handed catch against the body and couldn't haul it in. As Trotter will take off off the middle and not get anywhere. App State ready for the QB sneak. Tolbert in motion, he just moved up into that top slot. Tolbert standing near the goal line. Trotter chased, bouncing off his own players on third and goal, he's dropped at the five. Green, Terry on Avery lined up as the setback. Fake to Avery, Sefcic coming back and he's tackled on fourth down. It's baby. I tell you what, South, South Alabama has a lot to do with that because. Nate Noel fumbled the football, wow. looks like South Alabama's got it inside the 10 yard line. Gain possession. The ruling on the field is a fumble by the offense, recovered by the offense, second down. Spin move here, ball comes out, and uh, not really sure anybody knocked it out. I think he just a little trying to do a little too much and lost the football there. Physical Appalachian offensive line. And right now they're handling their own, and you'd like to see the, the Appalachian O-line from the last two or three ball games show up because it here since they've been in the FBS, and that could be in jeopardy if they don't get the ground game going here. They'll fall obviously well below that threshold. So Chase Bryce not exactly disappointed with slow and steady. Now going for the deep shot. He's got Malik Williams in stride at the 30. That's a field flipper for a Mountaineer first down. But, but uh, 
Uh, Malik just pulled away from him. Peoples with some running room on the right side. The spin move inside the 10 yard line. That's a 12 yard pickup for Peoples. Kicking into the wind. Good old, good snap. 15 for 15 for Chandler Staten. Used to kick it away. South Alabama going to return here. That's Lacey across the 30-yard line, tripped up at the 32, and play action fake. Trotter being chased. Now he'll take what he can get and slide out of bounds just shy of the 40-yard line. Every negative thing that happens is a positive equivalent around the corner if you just if you stay the course. Needed that third down and five, couldn't get it. Ball game. This hasn't been a track meet. This is one of those cold-like NFC Championship game style ball games that has transpired here as Cam Peoples gets loose on first down, ends up getting bounced out into the South Alabama sideline for a gain of nearly eight. And now Peoples a little slow to get up. He low grind. Play action fake by Bryce. Going for the deep shot. Down the middle, and that ball is picked off. That's an interception for South Alabama. This week he said you play in November, or you win in November to play in December. That's exactly what South Alabama is going to try to do. That, There's Tolbert on the spin move. That's coming back. Pass interference. Offense number 88. Half the distance to the goal. Replay second down. Design play if you can get away with the cheating, but see the tight end was engaged with, you know, uh, Cobb before the, the ball was even thrown. It, it really is, but you just hate it because that was, that was real clear that he, he was ahead of the curve there. He, it, it, was, it was illegal. Third down and two coming up for the Jaguars. And a shorted pass on the Mountaineer sideline. That was intended for Sefcik. That's part of this 10-point deficit. Third down and nine. Downfield running lane. Peoples lost the football. A scrum for it at the 42. They're going to say it was down by contact. South Alabama the saying they had it. The runner was down before the ball the, came the, loose. The ball hit the, the ground cannot cause the, the turn up field they did. And the ball, excuse me, the ground called caused the fumble. And that, again, you, you can't do that. So. Wow, good design play there. Hennigan to the 20-yard line on the catch. How that makes you feel as a coach. You know that Kane Womack knows exactly what he's talking about with the way Trotter's come out here again. But when you... Bryce with the snap. Play action look. Little dump pass to Hennigan. To the five. To the goal line. Touchdown, black and gold. Trotter. Play action, look, wow. and he's taken down on the first play from scrimmage. Not the start that Major Apple White wanted to see. Or even safety. Third and 16. Trotter with a little bit more time that time. Tolbert was out of bounds, came back in. Inning in the fourth clock, stopped on the incompletion. Castle. Stymied at the 42. I tell you, it's going to be fun to watch, though, because, again, Troy still has to play app as well as Georgia State and then you think about it Louisiana I still have splits with Trotter backed up inside his own five first pass is to Wayne necessarily reminiscent of what we have seen to start this very critical drive for the Jaguars I will running play on third and short will be able to get the first down what gets another year because again he's gonna have success and folks are gonna come after him he, he can build a pretty good program or team here at uh, South Alabama. So these guys, a lot of these guys will be back. I don't know if they're winning, but they were up 10-7. Lots, um, lots of movement there. Flag flies in. And so they'll kiss. Say, man, you, you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Trotter hit as he throws, gets that pass out to Wayne on the sideline in the Mountaineer territory and wrapped up at the 40-yard line. Brian, Brian Hill is the running back. Pass play down the sideline, incomplete. Flag comes in there as well. Madison Cohn in coverage. Pass interference, defense number 12. 15-yard penalty, automatic first. South Alabama down 17. Need to wrap this drive up with points in the end zone. Completion to Hopper inside the 10-yard lines. Already got a touchdown today. 
Second and goal from the nine, under three minutes to play. Trotter, hit again, and that ball's picked off by Trey Cobb. Cobb may be able to run this one back. He's got blockers across the 30. Streaking down that sideline. He's got a convoy of black and gold support. Trey Cobb to the goal line. Ball game at the Rock. <laughs> but Appalachian leads the country in defensive touchdowns, if well, I'm not mistaken. They've tacked on to that lead here tonight. Kareem Walker showing that burst as a first down. For culture and knowing how to win comes into play. And that should be the final play of this one as the two teams will head toward the middle of the field in our final score of 31-7. We'll send Appalachian State to 8-2 on the year, 5-1 and one in Sunbelt play, while South Alabama falls to an even 5-5 five and five overall, 2-5 and five in league action. Okay, that'll do it for us here from Kid Brewer Stadium here today in front of a crowd of 29,348. Our final score, 31-7, to seven, App State on top. Today's broadcast.